This is to show um, how I use Google Classroom as a um, platform to continue uh, to make learning purposeful for students in physical education. So typically what happens is students come in or a uh, class comes in, um, I usually write the learning outcome for that specific lesson on the whiteboard. We talk about that and then whatever activity we choose to use for that lesson to enhance their learning, um, you know, that'd be the second thing we do. And then the last thing we do is during a transition time when they're um, getting ready to line up and exit my class, uh, they get on their iPad. Um, I type in a quick question as it relates to our learning for the day and then they answer very quickly. A lot of teachers, a lot of educators call this um, an exit ticket strategy. Um, you know, I coin it a little bit different, but it's one and the same thing. So this is pretty much Google Classroom uh, web version. So I generally do this on the iPad version, but I'm just gonna show you guys here. So uh, in classwork, uh, this is kind of where I create these topics. What did you learn today? That's the exit ticket question strategy method. I just coined it. What did you learn today? So that's a topic. So every question that I make goes right here towards the end of the class. So um, this one here in particular, uh, I was gone on a state conference. So I actually wasn't there. And I had my sus substitute teacher do an activity that I felt that that person can handle whoever was coming in to do my assignment. And it was just a simple uh, kicking, uh, kickball, big base type of uh, kicking activity for the day. But um, to make learning still purposeful, I asked my uh, my students this, this question and I actually did this the morning of. So um, I asked, why does this kicking game not fit under invasion games? So knowing that that's what they were gonna be doing with the substitute teacher and that we were in the unit of invasion game, um, how do they make the connection that it's not a part of the invasion games tactical concept? So, um, so right here viewing the questions. Uh, if, if this is kind of where you do the uh, the grading, so I'm just going to show you how quick this goes. Um, I do it on a four point scale because uh, what I'm looking for is content knowledge. Like, do they understand the content or the question that I'm asking them? And then the second is because we are a uh, English language arts district, ELA district. Uh, um, we've uh, been really trying to encourage kids to write with uh, full sentence structures like capital letter um, and then punctuation at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here with this kid and that's his statement because you don't have to go to the other side and back to score. So he understands somewhat the concept and the characteristics of games that belong to invasion games. Um, but because he started with the sentence with because I'm going to give him a three. So on my keyboard, I'm just typing three and I'm going to tap enter and then enter again to see the next student's response. So once again, this is correct, but the sentence structure is not quite there. So I'm going to give this kiddo a three. Okay. And I'm just going to go through and I am doing the same thing. All right. Uh, this is actually not correct because what I was looking for is the question, which, once again, is why does the kicking game not fit under the invasion game? So for you to understand, uh, to, to answer that correctly, you have to know the characteristics of invasion game, which is any type of game where you invade the other team's territory or site, and then you have to score on that side. So games like Capture the Flag does not fit into invasion game because you score by coming back to your side. So uh, this girl here says, because you are not passing the ball to the other teammates. And in kickball, you, you don't, that's true, you don't want to pass the ball to the other teammate, but uh, one of the characteristics of invasion game is not that you pass the ball to the teammate. I mean, so I'm going to give this gal a two for just a valiant effort here. Um, because you don't invade the other team side. That's correct again. But once again, sentence structure. So I'm just going to go through this really quickly and we'll see if we see like a really good sentence structure and then we can go from there. Um, there's no sides for the opponent's cross. I really like that. This kid is so close. He just missed the punctuation there. Um, same thing. Misspelling. Uh, misspelling again. I mean, for the most part, I would say a large majority majority of my class here understands the concepts that we are learning in Invasion Game. Okay, so what I would say with this class is the next time I see them, I would talk to them about how to craft a good sentence. Um, this one here is going to be, oop, this one here is going to be a one. OK, 
Okay, can't score, that's not true. Um, this is going to be the typical answer because you're not invading the other team side and you are not scoring. Um, okay, so just going to keep going here. And you can see I'm almost to the end here. So these kiddos here actually did not put in any response, so I can't give them anything for a score. So that's it. I mean, I click return, and then the assignment actually goes back to all of the students. So that's pretty much how easy it is to use Google Classroom as a platform to uh, do a full circle with uh, students' learning outcome for each physical education lesson.